Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to grab your brushes and paint along with us today. I'm gonna have them run all the colors that you'll need today across the bottom of the screen. Or use different colors, because frankly, I'll never know. Today we're gonna paint some palace ruins burning in a field. Now ruins have always been interesting to me because they're like a look at life in the past, the way things used to be. They can be little lessons for the future, perhaps teach us how to live moving forward. All right, well, here we go. Now for the sky today, I think it's appropriate if we use royal blue. And I always use my big brush for the sky, so I don't have to around with that for too long. All right, so take your big brush, put in the paint. Here we go. My goal with skies is always to get it done as soon as possible. Get in, get out. You know what I mean. Just remember, the sky doesn't have to be that good. I feel like if you put blue the top of a painting, people know it's a sky. All right, next thing we're gonna do is paint in two islands, one far away and one close by. All right, and don't forget to add the water that separates the islands. It's another big moment for Big Brush. Always remember to try to show the intensity of your brush strokes, because that's the mark of a true artist. All right, next, take your red paint, because there was a fire far away in the land of freedom. Not sure if you saw it, but it was on CBS on Sunday. But this fire didn't get that big out of nowhere. Someone felt the fire, someone sounded the alarm, some people heard the alarm, and then they decided to do nothing about it. The way I see it is, you should always pay attention when someone sounds an alarm. Now, the crazy thing about fire is that it jumps. It jumps real far, even across the pond. There we go, get it jumping. And now it's gonna land on what we're gonna paint next, a really old castle. All right, so the fire landed on this really old castle. To me, it looks like it's having a complete meltdown. It's just falling apart. So there's bricks over here. There's other bricks over here. It's all fallen, fallen by the wayside in a field. So there's bricks falling over here. The door is open, the gate fell apart, and all of a sudden places and things that no one's ever been allowed to see before, falling out everywhere. Nothing is secret anymore, and Everyone's getting a glimpse. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not pretty. So now that fire is just burning up this castle all around it. Is it sad? Yeah. Is it needed? Probably, because fire is nature's way of getting rid of things it no longer needs. You know, just lots of old stuff hanging around, taking up the resources of others around it. You know, by the look of these ruins, Looks like they used to be something grand, something full of rich history. Maybe this way of living was aspirational to us, you know, gave people something to make believe about. It would be kind of fun to imagine yourself living in a palace like this used to be, to be picked, to be labeled as special, for really no reason. But I'll tell you something right now. I think everyone's special and you don't need a castle to prove it. And if the castle in your life is causing you pain, then it is time to let it go. And as soon as you realize that, then you'll be stronger than all the bricks that built the thing in the first place. All right, now let's fill in the blank spaces with a color that makes sense. Or one that doesn't make sense. That's what floats your boat. Who am I to tell you what to do? This just makes your painting look more professional. And lastly, the most wonderful thing I've noticed about fires and ruins is even though something bad had to happen for them to be there, I've noticed that they can be the 
greatest breeding grounds for growth. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed painting palace ruins along with me today. Now don't forget to sign your painting and I'll see you next time.